Hi guys, this is Haley. I'm back with my first makeup tutorial in 2021 with new hair. So I wanted to do something more dramatic and different. So I decided to go for this silver chunky glitter eye makeup look, which I never done on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. If you have deep under eye dark circles, yet your concealer isn't strong enough to cover, the color correction can be really helpful. My under eye dark circle is more like purplish brown, so I'm going to neutralize the area with light peach corrector. This product has pretty opaque coverage, so it is strong enough to brighten and neutralize the under eye area, as you can tell. Today I'm skipping a foundation as always. This product is what I recently discovered and I absolutely love it. It is the most hydrating concealer among all the high coverage concealers I ever tried. It doesn't even crease at all. A little bit of this product goes a long way so it is better to use a buffing brush to get a thin layer of this product. Otherwise it will look cakey. And then I'm going to apply on my lids to ensure that I have a clean base for a glitter eyeshadow I'm using today. After covering my under eye area where product is most needed, I'm blurring the edges to make sure the area I apply a concealer blends really well with the rest of my face. Overall, I'm just simply focusing on the area where it needs the product, which is my under eye area, my nose area, and the skin around my lips. I have small little pimples and hyperpigmentation, so I'm taking the same concealer with a tiny little concealer brush to cover them. By doing this technique, you will notice how much less product you will actually need, and it is so liberating. To set the base, I'm going to apply a pressed powder gently all over my face. Today I'm not using a too warm bronzer, but more like shade in between bronzer and contour to mess with the silver eyeshadow look. And I'm not going to do any intense contour or something. Instead, I'm going to create the most natural shadow on the outer of my face. As you can see, I keep blending and blending until it looks all natural. Blending is just everything to not to leave any harsh lines, especially. For today's eye makeup look, I'm going to create very natural smoky eye look before I put in a glitter eyeshadow. I'm starting off with applying ash brown eyeshadow all over my lid. If you are using a silver eyeshadow or glitters, it is better to match with cool tone shade than warm tone shade. So I picked this ash brown eyeshadow to match the color. Today I'm going to draw a wing eyeliner. So I'm going to create the darkness out of V and then I go in with a darker color to build up the darkness. With using the same shade, I'm also going to apply it on my lower lash lines and basically I'm creating cat eye shape with an eyeshadow. After that, using a deep brown shade, I'm applying to outer V shade again, but more smaller area. The shade in comparison to previous color is now way darker, so this is very important when you want to achieve natural smoky eye makeup look. I'm creating the transition from light to dark towards the outer V area. I'm also going to apply on my lower lash lines, but mostly on the outer part. To make sure all shades I use are blended well without any edge, I'm going to blend everything with ash brown shade again with using a fluffy brush. To create a guideline for liquid eyeliner, I'm going to draw eyeliner first with deep brown eyeshadow. This then makes it much easier for you to draw wing eyeliner. With the rest amount, I'm going to apply on the outer part of the lower lash lines. To make my eye look wider, I'm cleaning up the eyeshadow in between upper lash lines and lower lash line with a cotton bud. Now for today, I'm gonna play with this 
gorgeous glitter eyeshadow. This is a liquid eyeshadow with chunky silver glitters, so when the light reflects on it, it looks much shinier. I'm placing on the inner corner of my eyelid first with fingertips and slowly build up the glitters more and more. Also, I put a little bit on the beginning of my lower lash lines. I really love this look and now I'm adding more edge with drawing wing eyeliner. Using a black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to tighten line first. Also, I draw a little bit more on the inner corner of my eyes to create like a cat eye look, but not too much. After curling my lashes and put some mascara primer, I'm going to put mascara. Today I'm going to use two different mascaras. First one is volumizing one for upper lashes. Second one is lengthening one for lower lashes. And this one especially doesn't miss any single lash hair, so good for lower lashes. By using different mascara, I can create more precise lash look. For eyebrow, I'm going for natural brow looks. So first, I'm filling in my brows with, with brown brow powder. And using a brow pencil, I'm going to draw a light stroke on the empty part of my brows. For highlighter, I wanted to match with eyeshadows, so I picked this silver pearl highlighter to make it more dramatic. I'm going to apply on the high point my cheekbones and underneath my brows. As I want all the attention on my eyes for lips, I want to go for a natural look. So first, I'm going to draw lip lines with this nude lip liner, which looks very natural on my natural lip color. I'm just following my natural lip lines, not overdraw or something. And then using this nude pink lip gloss, I'm going to apply mainly center of my lips. and then blend all together with fingertips. So yeah, this is the final look. I really love how it turned out. So if you put a chunky glitter eyeshadow on your just everyday makeup look, it will definitely change the whole vibes. I hope this inspires to play with makeup products you never used before or wanted, but kind of afraid. It's New Year, so it will make you look real fresh as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!